Okay, here's what we're working with. Idler, alternator, tensioner. We're looking for the tensioner because we're going to take the belt off. So, as we look at the engine, so it says it's right below the idler and bottom right to the alternator. So, zooming out. Okay. There's the alternator right there. And then the only way to see it from here is and there's the um the idler there's the idler pulley the top of it and then below it is the tensioner we we'll have to go below to find it so let's go below all right going below all right what you need to do is remove your wheel you don't have to you can do this without removing the wheel but I removed that and then I took that bottom cover off that bottom cover looks like this Oops. that's the bottom cover take that out just 10 millimeter it's that bolt I got that screw hanging in there and then there's the other one it's just hanging on there that way I don't lose it but you take that cover off and then see see you can just take this off anyway it's up underneath there and it's a 13 millimeter so get your 13 millimeter get that ready all right and you're going to go up underneath let me show you let me show you okay i got the 13 millimeter wrench I got the box in off on on the um, fastener you can see it hanging right there the silver part and there's the oil filter behind it but it's up there it's hanging on it and I, I all right okay now here's what it looks like so they follow the wrench up and it's right on that pulley 13 millimeter and you're going to want to turn it clockwise turn it clockwise to loosen it clockwise will loosen it and you get a helper or try it yourself with your other hand pull the belt off and then remember how it goes back on refer to your diagram whether it be on the vehicle refer to this diagram right here and it'll tell you Oh, it just killed a spider. Oops. So idler, alternate tensioner. Tensioner is what you're looking for. Water pump, crankshaft, AC, and power steering. Those are all the pulleys on this vehicle. So tensioner, you want to clockwise loosen it. And then just remember how that, see how that pulley goes on there. Just remember all the which way it goes on there. This one has an AC, so it'll go down like that. Go up and around like that. And to get it back on, you got to tension it, put it on there, detension it, put it on there, and then let go. So I want to do that right now. I'm going to take it off. So here. Okay, that's a little tricky to do with one person, but I'm holding my left hand. It's pushing. And then this belt just barely came off. Like you have to go all the way you're clockwise. You're pulling it clockwise. And then just barely you have enough leverage to you kind of have to peel it off. Peel off the belt. So and then let go. And then you can take take the belt off. That's fun. Let me get up above the top. There it goes. 13 millimeter wrench. Let me go up here. Alright. Let's get that belt off. There's the pulley. There's one of the pulleys. Oh man. And where is he out? Just kind of pushed the belt off. 
work work with it. I'm gonna push it all to the, to the ground. There we go. All right, let's look at that belt. Let's look at it. Look at that. You wanna wanna inspect your belt. Make sure the ribs, there's no, you can check the back of your manual. Here, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, acceptable. There's cracks running across V portion of belt. That's acceptable. Unacceptable. Missing two or more adjacent ribs, half inch or longer, or cracks running parallel to V portion of belt. So that's unacceptable. So when the cracks are crazy, when the cracks are okay, it's uh, acceptable, unacceptable. Okay, we're just going to examine the belt here. And I don't see any cracks. There's one crack. But it's not too bad. It's just one little crack. It's not a deep crack. And this belt looks amazing. Wow. Alright, so we went around. Check the outside, make sure it's okay too. But mainly, just be checking. Looking for cracks. Looking for it to be horrible. Alright, this belt's looking good. Alright, that's how you remove it. And let's go. Okay, there are various ways to install this, but a little trial and error won't hurt. So I just I'm just snaking it all snaking it all down in there. And it's going to, this part goes over top of that part. Because that's what the diagram shows over top of the power steering. Just want to snake it all over. I'm going to go from below because that's where it came off at. So I'm going to go below and get it all put together. Okay, so it's like a going to go over the alternator, underneath the idler, and then over the power steering, underneath the AC, underneath the crankshaft, and then this part, this model, does a a loop to loop around the water pump and then underneath the tensioner so the last part you want to be coming out is you want it to be loose at the crankshaft because that's it's easy to access right here so whenever I go to put it clockwise to tighten it I mean to loosen it it'll detension it and I'll be able to slip it, slip it on there and then let go and it'll tension back up. Easier said than done because it, it's just a, a barely, it's a barely fit. It barely fits. So, right now I need to get it to go up, up and around the tensioner. I need to go, I mean, up and around the water pump, up and around the water pump, and down and around the tensioner. So, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so this is how much room you got to work with. This is gotta this part's gotta go over here. So that the belt's gotta go underneath underneath here. So that's how much you got you have to work with. I have it all set up, all routed. The belt's routed all right. So now I need to go up in there, tighten the tensioner, loosen the tension bolt. And it'll give, you enough, give me enough play to, to get in there. So, let's see how, let's see how they go. All right. Okay, I got that on there. Let me get you all set up here. Oh, let me get you all set up in here. So there. There, it's loosened. Oh, you're gonna have a lot of trial and error. All right, I gotta get put that back up on the. Uh, what? Let's try again.
and success. All right. That took way more, way many more times than I'd like it to. But I got it on there, so check it all. Make sure it's all. Make sure that belt's properly back on there. There's the top of the alternator. There's the belt. Make sure all the ribs are on there. There's the top of the idler. It goes below it. And then it goes over to the power steering. Over top of the power steering and then it goes below the AC. So it's below that AC right there. Below it. And then it goes over to the crankshaft. You can see it go below it. And then it, it does a little loop-to-loop, -loop, a little S. It comes up around the water pump, which is right there it is. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but it's there's the water pump. It's just a flat surface where the flat part of the belt goes over top of it. And it looks to me like it's right there on the, right on the middle of it. And then it goes over the, and uh, up, up and under, underneath the tensioner. There's the tensioner right there. There's it. It goes below it. And then it comes over, oh, over and under the alternator. And the back up around. So that's how you remove and install a drive belt serpentine belt what have you it drives it pretty much connects all your pulleys and all your um, accessories together and it allows your vehicle to pretty much be awesome so here's make sure you find your diagram this is a 2.0 liter drive belt and there it is 1997 Mercury Mystique or Ford Contour 1997 Z-Tech engine yeah that's how you remove and install a dry belt have a great day and make sure when it, if it squeals a little bit for your new belt that's okay that's normal now you just button it all back up Put your covers back on. There's a couple more splash shields. Put your tire back on. I disconnect the battery because I have a habit of doing it, so I'm gonna connect the battery back up. And I'm we are good to go. Thank you very, very much.